All right, folks, we've got a lightning round video for you where I get peppered with questions and I answer them as quickly as I can so we can cover the most ground possible, giving you information on a city within the DFW area. And today is Plano, Texas. All right, we'll start the clock and go. What is the job market like in Plano, Texas? Plano job market is awesome in one word, and I'll simply say there are multiple corporate headquarters here in the Plano area and more coming all the time. There's, uh, you know, relative to any other job market probably in America, I would say this one is flourishing. Every market experiences its challenges, but everything from, you know, typical retail entry level jobs all the way up to very high skilled labor at a corporate campus and everything in between. Plano is a super attractive place as far as jobs. What are the different neighborhoods if you had to, if you had to categorize it? Yeah, so Plano's tricky, as is most of DFW. It's not a community where people really super identify with a specific neighborhood by that name. People tend to think of where they live in cross streets and quadrants. So you've got to know Plano's split a few different ways in most people's minds. There's kind of East Plano and West Plano. Neither one is necessarily any better or worse than the other one, but the east side is a little bit older. You've got original downtown Plano there where you've got a lot of the municipal services, police department, fire department, stuff like that, uh, city hall, that kind of stuff, uh, and a cool downtown area with some cobblestone streets and things like that. We've got a video on that. And then you've got West Plano, which is some of the newer development. Larger homes, some golf course communities and things like that. It's the bigger part of the city too. And then the west side of Plano starts to border uh, Frisco and some other really rapidly expanding new development type cities as well. So those are the two big divides. Um, you know, there's some, there's kind of a central area which is just west of Highway 75 that some would still think of generally as the east side if you had to draw a perfect dividing line. It's west of 75, so it's kind of the central Plano corridor almost a perfect grid pattern area where people wouldn't say, hey, I live in Oak Creek Village. They might say, hey, you know, I live at, you know, Custer and Alma or, you know, or something like that. So uh, neither does cross street, those streets do not cross by the way, but uh, they might say, you know, two cross streets. They, we, live, we live just Southwest of Blah, Blah, Blah. We live right by here and here. So that's kind of the attitude around neighborhoods in Plano. And for the sake of a lightning round, we'll leave it at that. What are some fun things to do in Plano? Yeah, so Plano's great because there's plenty of fun things to do in Plano. It's also great because it's very close to a ton of fun stuff around it. So uh, there's a really great area in West Plano called Legacy. There's tons of retail restaurants, movie theaters, um, you know, kind of retail entertainment type stuff. As far as outdoor entertainment stuff, Plano does a really great job with city parks, city pools. There's, there's some good golf in Plano. Um, you know, as far as family type outings, you've got a lot of your, uh, you know, go-karts and putt-putt golf and things like that. But you've also got some really great protected city um, wildlife type areas, parks, hiking and biking trails, playgrounds for, you know, small kiddos, things like that. Um, and again, you're nearby a bunch of other bigger stuff. You know, you're not terribly far from theme parks and professional sports and things like that that are inside Plano but are very, very close by. And again, for the sake of lightning round, we'll probably leave it there. What's a typical house like in Plano? Okay, so Plano, oh, we'll give you typical, but Plano offers a wide array. So probably let's say average median typical in Plano is gonna be low 300,000s, probably 300 to 325 is kind of a typical median. It's starting to go up, so I, could, I would accept an argument up to 350 or so for typical in Plano. Uh, you're looking at a three or four bedroom ranch style house that's not necessarily architecturally all that impressive, but a good looking clean, mostly brick home. Uh, one story that's probably in the ballpark of 2,000, 2,200 square feet, again with three or four bedrooms, a lot of swimming pools in Plano, Texas. And that house is probably sitting on a lot that's about a fifth of an acre, maybe a quarter of an acre, as far as the average median home. Uh, something you can be very proud to live in, in a community you can be very proud to live in as well. In terms of geography, mm -hmm. where does Plano sit in DFW for people who don't know much? I'm sure people don't look at a map, right. but what is it in relation to, how far is it from Fort Worth? Right. How far is it from so downtown Dallas? So for, for lightning round's sake, I'll say we shot another video on one of the best things about Plano and its location. 
So for lightning round sake, I'd say Plano's really well located to the east side of the Metroplex, right? So Dallas on the east, Fort Worth on the west, Plano's basically due north of Dallas, which means to the south of Plano is everything Dallas. To the north, you get Allen and Frisco and up into McKinney. Those are all massively expanding, really nice communities with great homes, great retail shopping, restaurants, parks and wildlife, highway, access to healthcare, uh, not terribly far from airport, uh, things like that. So as far as surrounding, you know, to the west, Plano has access to some recreational lakes uh, and, and, and employment in every direction, healthcare in every direction, uh, good communities in every direction, generally a very safe and desirable place to be. More nuanced question, what is the typical cost of living look like? Maybe like an entry level, as I bump my elbow into the camera. Right. <laughs> Strong play. Strong play. Yeah, uh, cost of living is like? a little bit hard for a lightning round. So I'll just say, you know, Plano is a, a comfortable place for somebody to live in that median income level. Now, the cost of living in Plano relative to, you know, 10 years ago has gone up, like is true for virtually every community. So the, the cost to enter into Plano to buy a home or rent an apartment is, is more than it's probably ever been, but relative to the rest of the country is still very, very attractive. So all things considered, if somebody's making, uh, you know, a single person making kind of a, you know, median salary, they're going to be fine in Plano and be able to live quite well. Uh, a married couple with what two is that? incomes. What is that, maybe 40000 I'm going to be careful with that number. But yeah, I think if you're in the low to mid 40s, you're fine in Plano. You're, you know, Plano is an environment where there are definitely some people in very high income brackets. Uh, and again, the cost of living for a home, you know, a typical home in West Plano is going to be higher. It's just a more expensive there's a more gated communities, more golf course communities, more new construction, more larger construction, larger lots. So certainly, you know, you, to get more, you pay more. But if you wanted to be in a home in kind of the central or eastern part of Planet, or some parts of West Plano as well, three bed, two bath, ranch style home, you might be able to squeeze into one of those in uh, the very high 200s or low 300s. And your cost of groceries and shopping and things like that are gonna be right at that kind of mid-level. Some, you know, a family, with a combined income in the fifty, sixty thousand dollars or in that range is 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 gonna be able to live a, a comfortable life. You know, probably a, a carefully budgeted one because there's a lot of temptation in the DFW area because there's excess in every direction. Um, but I think uh, you know I, I want to be careful with that number because people live very differently, right? Uh, we have a, a tremendous diversity of people, of incomes, of living uh, style. Uh, uh, and all sorts of socioeconomic diversity. So, uh, but yes, I would say somebody in the forty thousand dollar range could definitely live well in Plano. What's the school situation like? How are the high schools set up? Yeah. So schools are interesting in Plano because they're very highly regarded, but the the, the occasional complaint is that the schools are huge. Now that's done by design. Uh, at some point along the way, Plano basically decided instead of building tons of schools. We're going to have some really large schools and with that comes some significant benefits and for some people some drawbacks. One of the things that Plano does uniquely in the high schools is they split those campuses. So sometimes it's a freshman campus, at other times there's a freshman sophomore campus, but you're rarely, I don't know if you, I don't think there's anything in Plano where you have uh, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th all on one campus anymore. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think that I am, but all that to say, uh, Plano is known for its massive high school. So when you start thinking about sports and districts uh, and, and how they're competing, it's, it, these, are the, these are some of the largest high schools in America. Uh, so they're pulling from a giant talent pool uh, to field some very competitive, you know, athletically competitive teams. And not, not just athletics, by the way, all sorts of extracurricular activities. Um, so in a lot of ways, that's very, very, very positive. In other ways, it creates a very competitive environment. In the state of Texas, where oftentimes people are trying to achieve a certain percentile in their graduating class, so that they're virtually guaranteed access to a state college, that can create a very competitive environment. But that's what's going on there. You take it for you know however you feel about it. Those are the facts of kind of what's going on. And for the sake of a lightning round, we'll keep it rolling. I've got more questions, but I think we're going to cut it off here oh, for now. Part two, to be continued right there on the screen. But I also want to include some some questions from y'all. 
So make okay. sure you put, put them down. Yeah. Below. So if you if you're listening, we all we read every single comment. So if you've got more questions about Plano, drop them in the bottom. We'll do a part two. And if you get those in fairly quickly, we'll, we'll incorporate those into part two. If we can ever help you buy or sell a home, let us know. We, of course, we would love to do that. You can find us online at overunderagent.com or our contact information will definitely be down below the video. Click a link, call a phone number, text us, whatever we can do to help. We read every comment. Like this video if you liked it, if you think it's valuable. Share it with anybody you want. Let them know that there's a part two at least coming. And then click that little bell when you subscribe to the channel and that will let you know when those new videos are made. You don't have to watch them all, we understand that, but it'll let you know that there's some opportunity there for you. And then definitely check out the rest of our channel. Lots more videos on Plano and those surrounding areas and really the whole real estate market in DFW, as well as some notes on the entire state of Texas. So we'll catch you on part two.